Hi, Nick here. In this video, I want to talk about the idea of a primary code that forms the exchange of information that everything is based upon. In these videos, I explain this as a geometrical process. The only problem is, such a process would have to be able to form the potential for the ever-increasing complexity and diversity of cell life. Also, the geometry of this process would have to be relative to our mathematics and even be able to form the potential for even more abstract mathematics. And the same could be said for the potential for ever increasing abstract art and poetry. There would have to be a kind of infinity built into the dynamic geometry of the process that forms a potential infinity of possibilities. There is a dynamic geometry that can give us this, and that is a process of symmetry forming and breaking. Such a process could form the potential for entropy or disorganization with a potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the complexity and diversity of cell life. This process would have to be unfolding here and now, with the symmetry continuously forming and breaking as a process of energy exchange. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum of light, we would be able to see this geometrical process unfolding with everything continuously radiating out light, similar to an electric light bulb. This leads to the important question, what type of geometrical symmetry would nature and the universe use? It is reasonable to say that the most simple and economic symmetry would be used, and that is spherical symmetry. Nothing has lower entropy than a sphere, and in these images from the International Space Station, we can see, in zero gravity, a candle flame will naturally form a sphere. In our everyday life, fire would take on the same spherical geometry if it was not distorted by gravity. In this theory, the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a driving force for this process. The interior of a sphere would naturally form the three dimensions of our everyday life, with the surface of the sphere forming a dynamic, two-dimensional boundary condition for the movement of positive and negative charge. The inner concave surface can form a geometrical reason for negative charge, with the outer convex surface representing positive charge. In this way, we can have use of the holographic principle, with the information of our three dimensions encoded on a dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition, formed by the movement of positive and negative charge we can have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that can represent an infinite number of potential timelines within a continuous process of energy exchange. This forms the potential for the complexity and diversity of the universe with each object or life form having their own timeline from the past into the future. Because life is an integral part of this geometrical process, this line symmetry can actually be seen in the physical shape of intelligent life as left and right handedness. Also, the same process that forms this line symmetry forms the Fibonacci spiral in plant life. This is because if the spontaneous absorption and emission of light in the form of a quantum wave particle function is formulated as a linear vector, 
Each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. This theory even has an objective reason for the start of the Fibonacci numbers 0, 1, 1. If we think of the 0 in the center of the complex plane as t equals 0, the moment of now, with the future continuously coming into existence, photon by photon, the positive one and negative one represents positive and negative charge with a flow of electromagnetic waves. Within such a process, the future would not come out of the past. It would come out of the present moment relative to each object and life form. The future is unfolding relative to our position and the energy and momentum of our actions. With the light of fire and the beauty of the rose being part of one universal process. Bye for now. See you next time.